Yeah, and by the way, Bo Bojack Horseman is infinitely better than Rick and Morty. True or false? I think they're both good shows. I Very can't. The, the, the fandom killed Rick and Morty for me, mate. Oh, I agree on that. But that's like one of those things where like, that's one thing I'm glad I was able to do. I couldn't do it for like the first maybe 20 years of my life, but I've, I can just ignore how annoying fans get because otherwise there's a lot of good shit gets ruined, you know? Yeah, true. Here he is. It's like, for example, how could you ever Hello. listen to like fucking Tool or something if you, if you actually wanted to like see what their fans write? There's morons, aren't they? Yeah, it's true. How do I sound? Um, sound like you're a bit tinny. Yeah, a bit tinny, but I'm going to adjust your volume down so you're a little bit quieter. So you don't need to worry about volume. Okay. I'll, I'll EQ that. Are you okay, using so a real mic? Terrible. It's No, I'm using my, my... It's not that I didn't have a webcam. I'm on my MacBook. I don't have anything in my new apartment yet. So what... what I don't have a is this your new apartment back in Canada? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Toronto. All right, cool. Yeah. Hey, listen, so, Toronto's getting into esports big time. It's got Overwatch League franchise. That's I don't it. care about Overwatch League. It's got Launders. Right, that's still what we recorded. <laughs> You've got no career now. As soon as CSGO dies, you're done. Uh, I got Rainbow Six on the Why is he doing some sort of Kanye? <laughs> Blazing doesn't care about Overwatch League. <laughs> He's pulled a year already. And y'all know you can't fuck with him. No, he definitely can't fuck with you. So what you been up to anyway, Lawrence? I haven't talked to you in ages, mate. I've uh, just been fucking traveling. Went to Hong Kong, went to Montreal just recently. So yeah. he's just been Australia. fucking, he's just been to Hong Kong. And then yeah. after that, he yeah. went to uh, Hong Kong, or something. Fucking in Montreal. Yeah. Yeah, well, I caught you, I caught you, I was watching your stuff in Montreal. It was, there was some good games at that event, dude. It was good. Yeah, we had, you know what? The teams weren't that bad. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Like the the Ents uh, Imperial game was really good, dude. It was actually yeah, like that a was sick tight. match. There was like a you you would have appreciated Man, this. Was... Done. There was like a two a two like it was it was fifteen rounds to Imperial, and it was like that. And um, Ents had two guys left alive, and they did a two v five like comeback, and then one in overtime yeah. on the deciding map. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah, brought it back, but they that would have been the first land that Ents ever won. So. That would have been. Yeah, I something. thought they were going to do it. I, 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 I said I was talking about it with Nartu on the stream yesterday. Like, you know, games like that are just so exhausting, and then you have to go into a final afterwards. And that's not to take anything away from Kingwin, who've been like doing really well lately. But you know, I don't know. I, I feel like if they, you don't have a super grueling match before you have to play Kingwin, you know, you probably uh... yeah. That, that was the main thing because it was like 30 rounds each game, three maps over overtime last game. Yeah. They probably checked out. Like, they probably thought they were going to lose the last game. Yeah. So they're probably out of energy. So you still live in Vegas? Oh, yeah, dude. This is this is where I'm going to die, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, really? I'm, yeah, I've decided. Do you I'm, gamble? No, nah, fuck. I hate gambling. I love everything else. <laughs> Love, okay. I, love, I love all the other shit you can do in Vegas, though. But uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, this is this is where I'm I'm gonna check out. I think I'll know when it's time to do a Nick Cage. Just, uh, you'll all get a text from me. Leaving Las Vegas, lad. I'm out. But yeah, it's fucking good out here, man. Like apart from the fucking internet, which has been playing up all day, of course. Yeah, isn't it sweaty though? It's like really fucking It's warm. Hot my my house is pretty good air conditioning. But yeah, oh, it, yeah, it, yeah. it was like 115 at uh at the start of August. That's a bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> just a fucking tad like. It's not Texas oh, though. Smidgen. I'm back. Yo, Texas is fucking unreal. Like there was um Texas There was there was like a a, a bit where like uh, the tarmac fucking melted and a plane couldn't take off. Because like, the tarmac was too soft and the wheels kept sticking in it, so they had like delay of flight. Oh so. my god, Texas is the worst because you just go from super hot to like I don't really know how they do it, but they have their AC down to like it feels like sixty in every store or restaurant or grocery store. Yeah, I can't yeah, handle the sick. modern world, mate. <clears throat> I've just seen a tweet that someone's linked me to because I don't know if you ever saw, but in League of Legends, there's a player where my analogy for this player was that he's like Kate Upton because famously Kate yeah, Upton Yeah, no, I remember. What was it? Um, yeah. True Love or something. Clear Love. Clear yeah, Love from love, uh, EDG. 
Well, here's yeah. the thing, right? She just did a tweet. So someone's like linked me to it because obviously it's ridiculous. It just come out like a minute ago where she says that she stopped uh, working out to fit in certain like dress sizes and measurements because she needs to feel like, you know, confident and healthy in herself as like a strong woman or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like that. that is such whack logic because it's like, you just naturally, there's no natural you. Like if you just don't work out and don't eat healthy, that's you plus loads of Twinkies and fucking Coke. Like that's not <laughs> you naturally. There's nothing There's nothing great to be celebrated about you plus a birthday cake inside your stomach. Like that's not, that's not <laughs> the good part, is it? You as you are, working out makes you the best version of you, doesn't it? I feel now like you're, all those people when you did that fucking video about, uh, what's it called? That video about Phantom Lord. I'm like that guy on the YouTube channel. That's two things you've taken from my life. <laughs> yeah, you remember that guy? I wonder why that yeah, happened. That's to him. why I would say to Kate Upton. I wonder. I wonder what ever happened to uh, to him. First, I buy power. Now, Phantom Lord, you have taken everything as if that was from his me. fucking list of things more. from his life as well. I'd like to know what the third thing was, just so I could go fuck that up for him as well. Like. If it was like, well, and the least I always have Star out, Wars. It was, uh, <laughs> it was really obscure, but he just really wanted face it to re re retain their integrity in the community. So I think yeah. he's safe. At least, you haven't, at, you haven't at, taken that one at all. At, at least I will always have face it running a great major. Oh god, bless him. Actually, I'll just get some food now. I've got this yeah, downtime. Yeah, this is, this Next is game's going to be a banger. Yeah, man. This is the phase now of eight, dude. Who y'all got winning for this? Uh, not, not eight, dude. I don't think there's a chance that phase won this, to be honest. Really? Yeah, map. Are they done the maps? But are they sitting in a map right now? Do we? Nah, they're not on that. They haven't done the veto yet. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'll go with Navi as well. Face looked shit yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheeks it's right a... now. That's any indication for sure, not me. Surely they can't fucking stay like that. Not too deep. Like, like I always feel it's a best that... of three. I mean, one. So yeah, like I don't know, dude. There was some weird shit going on with Navi yesterday. So first of all, we know about that flamey stuff. What was that Edward Simple flamey thing that was going on yesterday? Edward and Simple were arguing. What was that, that about? That was so fucking weird. Yeah, that do you know so what I mean? Fucking weird. Yeah, no, that didn't. That looked like it was something really deep seated, you know. Even though it's like a small yeah. instance of something, but they and they started arguing for some. What what, what happened? Like they argued for something completely different. Yeah. So what happened was Flamey accidentally knifed Simple, I think, and then but Simple wasn't oh, paying yeah. attention. He was already arguing with like Edward over something, and there was like and, and Edward was like he looked super contrite and apologetic, and Simple was having none of it. He was going full Undertaker, fucking mad dog in him. Like, wouldn't stop staring at him. Yeah, it, 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 you know, you can't fake that. That is not, like, theatrics or anything like that. That is a deep-seated problem. Don't get me wrong. If I was simple, yeah. I would hate the fucking sight of Edward. Because you swap Edward for any other player from the CIS region, and Na'Vi have, like, loads more titles under their belt. All those runner-up places mm -hmm. they had. You know, Edward is absolute dog now. Like, he is so bad. Um... And, and yeah, I, I remember that was weird because it was right in the middle of like an eco round when they were just walking around. It was like the least impactful bit of team damage ever, and he just went off. Yeah, but like yeah. I say, I don't even think it was Edward who did it. But I think I, I don't know if it was like Edward was blocking him uh, in or something. But yeah, really mm -hmm. weird, really fucking weird, and um, yeah, just super surreal. And like, put it this way. Like we all we all know the reality. Simple and electronic run that fucking show. Like I don't give a fuck what you say about Zeus. Like I mean, Zeus has already been out the door once because people were sick of him. Like to be honest, they do some weird stuff from a like calling perspective. I feel like where hmm. in that game they just they didn't really play for information. They just like would like I think Dupree talked about it after the game how they would just gamble stack almost every round, and there were no tells. They would just go and like play 3B or play 4A or something without looking at mid, without looking at top banana. And then it was just a 50-50 for Astralis. But that's not like a solid way to to approach the game if you're Navi, right? Because you're putting yourself in a situation where you're 50-50 every single time. Hmm. And so I, I felt like they could have like done a lot more uh, to at least work for the information. Yeah. Like, so, so I don't know, dude. I mean, put it this way. I, I, I think 
Zeus is pretty overrated, honestly. I know he's won a major, did it with Gambit. I, I fell into that trap, like, you'll find footage of me from the time going, wow, turns out Zeus wasn't the problem. Great and Kim leaders, just people wouldn't listen to Zeus. And I'd always been the opposite way before, and I think I just got seduced by the easy storyline, like, you know, some analysts and pundits do sometimes. And then it was very clear when he got back to Na'Vi, like, oh, actually, no, he's just, he's just a big oaf who shouts at people. Um... You know, so I don't. I don't think he's a deep, sophisticated in-game leader on the same like level as an MSL or a Glaive or an Existence or someone like that. You know, I think like yeah, he can do a very good impression of a drill sergeant, and that's about it. But I don't know. Oh, you you, you, you understand the game better than me, Londa, so you probably know better. Uh, I definitely see. Like, I, I sometimes I wonder, like how simply they're calling rounds. You know, like are they just going off of what they feel like or are they actually like do they have a method to how they like approach a round so it feels like sometimes they're just guessing so yeah i get that too but yeah i don't know i don't know i might i might i might go and say that with carrigan marshalling the, the troops overnight and the fact that there's something fucked up with Na'Vi right now, internal chemistry. I think we have an absolute fucking barn burner of a game. But I'm, right, de map dependent, of course. But I'm going to put it in the region of like 16, 13 or something like that for phase. I'll be bold. Okay. I'd say the same but reversed. I think Na'Vi will just get the edge here. Because, I mean... You can't take too much off one result, but if you compare the two performances just yesterday, face or 16-5 to big and just looked absolutely awful. Big and Na'Vi narrowly though. lost to Astralis. Yeah, yeah, they are. But I mean, FaZe, if FaZe are on any kind of form, even if big are legit, they should still deal with them comfortably. Mm. With that kind of team. Na'Vi narrowly lost 16-14 against Astralis, took them to the very end. So I, I've got more confidence in Na'Vi at this point. But, you know, best of one's major. Anything's possible, isn't it? Yeah. What, what Did anyone map... see the shot that Flamey missed? Oh, yeah. With yeah. that off, or the yeah. 2v1. That was really bad. But, like, from his perspective, how bad was it? Yeah. That's, that's, that's something that just tilts everyone off the face of the earth when it happens, you know? Yeah. That's bad. What map do you think we're going to see, then? Another Inferno um, for this? Yeah, that's definitely most likely. Yeah, yeah I I, 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 both teams are happy with it. Yeah, I think because Na'Vi Na like to play it, even though as Duncan rightly pointed out yesterday, like recently, Na'Vi have a bad record on that. Like It's like only like 52, 54%. It's not great uh, over the last three months. Uh, but FaZe, they think they can play it, and Carrigan will very often... Like leave it in there, but they've got a pretty poor win rate on. I haven't checked the exact number, but I'm gonna um, gonna look yeah. it up. So oh, actually, you know what? Main reason for the bad win rates. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know what? It looks like it might be slightly higher than I thought. Let me just have a look. Last three months. Um... Yeah, the phase aren't doing too bad. This is actually an anomaly of a tournament for them because they like Olaf came back. They they're they're pretty good. I feel like well, at least Olaf was really good. So. It might be skewed. Yeah, true. I think the ideal world then is, um, if yeah, Inferno is seven over the last three months. They have a seventy-five percent win rate on Inferno, a hundred percent win rate on Overpass, but only played it twice. They've won Nuke the only time they played it, and then the next one after Inferno is Mirage, which is sixty-two percent. Best case scenario, I think, is they've played a lot of Train, but only won forty percent. So I don't I I can't see them leaving train in there against Navi, but that would be a good map for them. Uh, yeah, Inferno is just a bloodbath because everybody has to play it, so everyone's yeah. so good at it. And then even if they lose half their games, they still feel like they're good. Uh, but they're always playing other top teams on Inferno because of the vetoes. Yeah, man, I'm so fucking bored of Inferno. I never thought I'd say that. 
it's my favorite map but <laughs> it's been fucking oh yeah it's just been overkill it does feel that well over half the maps played so far have been inferno mm. and then we've had nearly every single inferno game barring a couple of like slaughters going to overtime or double overtime <laughs> yeah that too right How mad is it though that big and complexity are both 2 0 right now? The fuck? If it's they draw insane. each other, we're definitely having a UK player in the playoffs. Not bad. <laughs> that's nasty. Uh, yeah, that's insane. And G2 looks so so bad in that first half. They were, the way they were retaking, it's just. Yeah. Complexity's got it going time. on, man. Full on facilities, Warden, Rambo, it's Dallas Stanislaw, Cowboys dude. money. You put, Stan you put Stanislaw on a team, the team becomes good without fail. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not like the complexity we made win. fun of for the last three years, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean. Even when they were one of the two best teams in the region, it was tragic because I bet power were always better than yeah. them. They would do well outside of North America, but. Even here, they couldn't win for side by power. They never won an ESCA land, right? In CSGO? Or... Uh... I remember I power like 60 node them that one time and yeah. on Nuke. But yeah, dude, I mean, like, this is the ultimate fuck you to the Optic uh, players, right? You fucking. Yeah. You know, like, you. you if, they, if they go 3 0, if they win the next game. And like Optic didn't even make it this far. Pretty fucking wild. Right, here we go. The Go TV's live. I'm actually really looking forward to this in Overpass, dude. Yep. Can't wait. Oh, it's Overpass, fuck. Oh, it is? Yeah. You know, uh, I think Navi, you got the edge on this then. Mm. Then again, we'll see. It's good. you know, yeah. Good like, for Guardian. Edward plays fucking white walls and it's such an important fucking position and he's terrible and Navi have had some like weird losses on overpass like when they lost to Tai Lu at de on day one of uh, fucking star series or whatever it was they lost they lost to Tai Lu on overpass right I'm sticking with fucking I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my big dick prediction phase 1613 I'm in oh god Fuck boy 420 that's Henry. He's joining the spectators. <laughs> that's not a good look, is it? <laughs> yeah, hasn't changed his name. It's the major oh, and he's, he's literally joined us fuck boy 420. Fuck it. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> that is indeed a blunder Henry. That's a massive blunder. <laughs> Don't let BBC get a hold of that. Do you actually listen to the commentators while we're doing this? No. No. I don't L think you're allowed to. I think that's yeah. one of the uh, the only things that they don't allow is for you to stream. Yeah, if the if the audio comes through, then because they're paying the the broadcaster that's paying them can shut you down. But if you just have like the gameplay footage, obviously Valve on that. So side. basically, if Vince actually describes anything in the game, we'll get DMCA'd because Vanders just fucking cast it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's worked Anders against will... you now, Richard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anders will just chime in. Budget, budget, Anders yeah. for the win. At this point in time, anyone is budget Anders though. If you know how much. But does costs. Anders have his own <laughs> line of flashlight products? No, no. 
Mate, those rappers that like charge 50k to come to a club, they're budget anders. If Anders has ever been to a club. <laughs> you, you want to stop joking about that, man, because with all that ESL <laughs> bullshit, people are going to start believing it. Like, there'll be threads on, on, yeah, there'll be threads on Reddit. Anders doesn't go to events anymore because he costs too much and no one wants to pay it. <laughs> I heard Thorin joking about it, therefore it is true. <laughs> And then if I say any actual other opinion, well, take everything he says with a grin. Yeah, I mean, come <laughs> yeah, on. Of course, yeah. So anyway, that yeah, right was on. me. Like, I think probably the best example ever I've seen of people who are just haters was when I made a tweet alluding to a scenario where I talked privately to Valve devs and the entire thread, hundreds of comments, was people saying stuff like, he's obviously left out all the rest of it where they actually explained something else. <laughs> yeah. Literally no way to know that. Literally no way to know. That. The only person who knows what happened there is me, and that's not. And they're just basically going. It's like me just going. Here's what I uh, heard when I talked to someone. No, you didn't. No, but <laughs> no, but I did though. That was me. I was there. Yeah, but they obviously afterwards said something totally different. But I, 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 I know you why you might understand that, but I actually didn't. You know, they, they said they said what I said. I think you're lying. <laughs> Sound right. I'm out. Yeah, I remember Go that. Go TV too. down or something. I can't connect. It wouldn't surprise me. You keep just... saying requesting Go TV connection. Yeah, it might be like, because if we're getting like overflow, it might be creating a new server. So just keep trying to connect to it. Just like F5 it and keep connecting. You'll get in. Unless, of course, Valve just heard that anecdote and uh, blacklisted yep. your ID on Go TV. Yeah. Shadow banned. From Gabe and oh, never mind. It's because I'll click on the old link for the game before. Hey. Oh, God, dude. Granddad, we love you. Richard, do you have the uh, low low latency stream setting on? I don't know if I do, mate. I, Sounds I would... like he doesn't. How do I, how do, I do it, Lord? Just come and educate me. You're a full-time streamer. I don't know how to navigate Twitch settings, but it's in there somewhere. What does it I do? It just makes it so that, like, if you say something, there's, like, one less than a second delay for people. Oh, okay. Because I'm watching your stream because I don't have, I don't have Counter-Strike. Right, right. It's all right. Wait, oh, because yeah, you're, you're on your Mac MacBook, book. right, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Don't they have a, I thought there was a Mac version for CSGO. Yeah, there probably is. I just haven't, I just didn't think I would need it. I've just got this image of you just sat that. in the middle of an empty house with just a MacBook plugged in. Is, is, is it that <laughs> tragic? I'm on my kitchen island right now. Holy, yeah. oh, so sad, sad, sad. Oh, Mate, I, I remember I did it recently, obviously, when I moved out to Vegas, right? I got this massive, like, I'm living in, like, a fucking mini mansion, right? I, did, I don't need a house this big, but I just, just the vanity of having it, you know? And, um... Oh, I love it, dude. Yeah, so, I, but when I first moved in, my furniture was being driven from fucking Atlanta, so it was, like, a three-day drive in a removal van. So I was like fucking just sat in this big house with ju just like a mattress just sleeping. <laughs> like it was just ridiculous. It was like, it just felt so empty. It was like, yeah. This, this is quite sad in a way. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. So I yeah, said, like, just the experience of squatting in your own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And not so you can drop a link in a Vincel's mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, Richard, if you go to your your dashboard, yeah, Twitch, and uh -huh. go to ch settings channel. Right. And can uh, I can I turn it on without restarting the stream? Can I? You could definitely change it. Whether it takes effect, I don't right, know. Okay, because you can look. change the setting. Right. And then it's under stream key and preferences. It's the last checkbox. Optimiz optimization preferences. Normal latency, low latency. Sounds good. Right. It's nice, dude. When you talk to your chat, it feels like they're like you're in the fucking room with them. So how low it is. So wait, so it was in settings channel. Yep. And then it's a, right at the and bottom. First, bottom of the first box. Right. Yeah, I see. Yep. Low latency, best for near real time interactions with viewers. I have now set it on. I could just have a cheeky restart of the stream, couldn't I? Oh, I forgot about the Vincels. Jesus, I forgot you had an army. I take it all back. I take it all back. You are the greatest. I'll buy two flashlights off the website right now. <laughs> and the condoms. I apologize. Yeah. Uh 
tell he you. He does always right. keep going back to that, doesn't he? He's got that theme of getting the condoms. is a big one with Scoops. <laughs> I, 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 hey, practice takes Then again, though, no, no you know, he's obviously from that era that was like, wrap it up, play it safe. Yeah. Play it safe. You don't to be want... fair, though, that could be the 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 tag the marketing tagline on Vince's condoms, which is like <laughs> wrap it up like my career and play it too safe. If anything, oh, double oh, back. That's double there back. we go. <laughs> <laughs> play it too safe. Go. If anything, exactly. Play it so safe Triple you can't hate. even feel it. Did it even happen? <laughs> Did it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're getting roasted, but thanks for, thanks for dropping by, mate. Like, you were talking about his career. Then. <laughs> oh, did it happen? <laughs> Still, we love you, Vince. Man. I we dreamed of making it to the top of the competitive oh, CS God. Go Come on now, it's got to oh, stop now. Happen. It's got to stop now, Duncan. Come on, man. This is, this is needless. <laughs> this is needless. He's here. He's All right. here. I know. We'll, we'll just wait until it's appropriate to tie into the game. Jesus Christ. You know what you should do, Duncan? I've been thinking about this. I Obviously, we always come up with ideas for making money. You should start selling, like, you know like you get streamers who, like, if you pay them 24K, they'll endorse, like, any old shit. Like, they'll do, like, shout-outs, okay. record stuff. You should just start doing, like, just absolute, like, I, I will roast you for this money. Like, just fucking. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. A patented Duncan Thorin Shields roast, like, yeah. like kind of like reading mean tweets, but like they pay you to read their own mean tweet to you. That's yeah. brilliant. People do that on Fiverr. Be like, yeah. a oh, you know that's one of the things crazy. people do to me in real life, though. They come up and they go, "Oh, will you record something roasting my friend?" I'm like, I don't know your friend. Don't know you. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck can I roast your friend? Don't know nothing about him. <laughs> well, he smells right. <laughs> All right, I'll say that. I know exactly. <laughs> You smelly bastard, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was good, though. Money, in it. Do you know what I love? This is something I've never heard anyone else comment on. But because of the casting duos, obviously swapping in and out of the game. So when they come along, they f they get this feeling as though, oh, I'm, I'm sort of just introducing myself to the stream again. You know, everyone's been watching someone else. So what they all always do, no matter what game it is, is they always start with like, well, Matt, I think this could actually be a good game as all, all the other games were shit. It's like, <laughs> why are you even saying that line? But they say it about every possible game. Like, even if it's like Vegas Squad and Spirit, you know what, Matt? This could be an interesting game, actually. It's going to be like, barn burner, actually. Why is that always the go-to? I mean, it's not that bad if you're blatant and you preface it with, I know what you're thinking at home, this game will be shit. But. Exactly. Thanks for the sub, Dead Eye with a three. It's in the first E. Using that Twitch Prime. Yeah, That's using the Twitch Prime. Yeah, it's good. Twitch Prime. I, every time I get Primes a Twitch are a Prime. higher honor than a regular sub. I, I think yeah, so. I look at it, it better. I think so, yeah. in a way. But, but yeah, I mean, like, every time I see a Twitch Prime come to me and not Ninja, it's just like, oh. There you just go, K-Pod <laughs> Jelly. Nice, K-Pod oh, Jelly. Yeah, uh, this, they call a subprime train happening right oh, now. Look at it. Oh, really? G -G. Yeah. G -G. That's magic. It's all happening. G -G. How, do you, how do you shill for your Twitch Prime launders? What do you do? Thanks, Matty Zeus, as well. Um, what do you say? Like, Tries to present his life as a feel-good story. I'll hear more about this. False advertising, if anything. <laughs> Why, why, why are you just wrecking everyone? <laughs> I know, it's true. Why, why is it like this? That is the problem, isn't it? I know, you always you always get into this mode. It, look, these people aren't Moses. There's no need to constantly wreck It's because, unfortunately, this is like the way you talk if you're in an English pub, obviously. That's yeah. like the sort of the jokes and things, isn't it? But the problem is you meet Americans and then they're just going... But but we're friends. Why are you being <laughs> yeah, why you, Why are you being me all the time? Just banter no, it. but... But, but I didn't do that sexual thing you just said. Well, I, I know that's just a joke. Isn't it? No, but I, it wasn't me. It's like, oh, fucking hell. Thanks, uh, JKXD, <laughs> Bartini12, Nun Gun, Eddie the Chump. Welcome back, mate. Big oh, fan. They are rolling oh, Eddie the Chump. He's cast oh, to the fist. Launders, give me a Twitch Prime. Holy shit. That's, that's one to be proud of. <laughs> oh, Launders, you could have joined the fucking Ninja Crew, man. What are you doing? And you can yeah. continue for one dollar too, yeah. by the way. So I know. September this month. Oh yeah, yeah. this is a test you know, donation for dollar. Uh, thing is, Launders is very different from Ninja though, because he will appear on stream with any woman in esports. <laughs> yeah. 
It's all right. It's good. See, you got him. Not yeah. bad. Got him. Uh, thank you for in good terms. Oh, anyway, was that boosted rude? nurse main. Thank you for gifting uh, five oh, we are, subs. Oh, look at this. Appreciate oh. that very much. Thank you. That's a poggers all round. So who's going to win this game, Launders? Who's your pick? Because this map's an uh, interesting he's got, one. He's got Na'Vi. Na'Vi yeah. should be favoured because of the map. But that's why I'm interested FaZe has gone here. Because they actually haven't been playing overpass a lot with the last few months. Did someone just uh, gift think, a uh... sub to Ninja? <laughs> oh yes, that's even oh, better. Oh no, he hates your me. In here, man. He fucking hates me though. Uh, thank you as well uh, for uh, gifting hit, yeah. the subs. A, a cute puppet. Because I called him out over that AC Royale fucking donation thing on Twitter. He was like replying back to me. Okay. To be fair, in many ways, people will always say that like, oh, he, he wrecked me. Because I said, listen. Um, he was like saying that I don't understand anything about it. And I said, I understand that you called somebody who gave you so much money, he bankrupted himself, a traitor to you. Like, uh, oh, you that's know. true. Yeah, yeah, that happened. Yeah. So, so I said, like, I know all I need to know about you, mate. And then, um, anyway, like, I did say, like, so why don't you just focus on being a mediocre streamer? And he did, and then he became the world's you did biggest get him on that streamer. One, I can't lie. You did get you on that one, Rich. Even you've got to yeah. give him up. He's still mediocre, you gave, you, but sometimes you could be exceptionally mediocre, evidently, yes. in the world we live in, you know. Well, the joke is you didn't say unsuccessful streamer. But, but yeah, in, in, in many ways, he has absolutely wrecked me there, hasn't he? With all them fake bot subs and the Drake stream, now making the bot subs irrelevant. Thank you very much, uh, Random Probably Jerry. You. Appreciate that. And Kino Stasia for the gifts. I appreciate oh. it, mate. Thank you very much. Like, honestly, if you replaced Ninja with a cardboard cutout of himself and just streamed it the same way, like, I wouldn't notice. Like, What, Shroud? <laughs> no, I actually, <laughs> I, actually, oh, I actually think Shroud has a much bigger personality than Ninja. Well, I mean, at that point, you need a microscope to tell anyway. Come on. Shroud's a good lad. <laughs> he is. I like him, actually. What you, what you reckon, what what you, what you, what you, you reckon Shroud for? Like, come on. He's a good lad. He's one of us. Because my plan is to provoke some sort of ref wrestling style beef with streamers then i'll make my big balls entry to the yeah streamer. actually i have noticed I get, that about you i'll be streaming with everyone you called YouTube, out the Twitch doc you yeah, called sure, out the doc sure. you've called out ninja yeah. you've called out shot yeah. it's actually quite transparent don't and you're just irrelevant you're just yeah. irrelevant yeah. and you're just trying to them call for on what they're doing celebrity death match but in real life we should do that uh, I, don't I don't know if you guys talk about this but how do, how do they find out where doc lived what well, the weird? people who people who shot him, dude? I mean, oh, again, I don't. I, I, yeah, I don't want. I don't want to draw any fucking attention to it. But unfortunately, yeah. there's like loads of blogs and stuff on the internet where people are like, you know, he went to college here, uh, you know, Jesus. And, 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 and he lives out. So immediately, like, if you were a nutcase and you wanted to start narrowing down where he was, you have all that info. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he owns a house, so I'm sure. Like, yep. And he owned yep. it for. It's like he was. In. Oh no, bomb plant. I think the worst no thing is if you go and you watch the VOD, um, somebody types in the in the, in the Twitch chat. Um, yeah, and thank you. Somebody gifted a sub to Face It TV. That's hilarious. Thank you very and much. And Thorin, Thorin just got one. Oh, nice. And GG420 praise. Seriously, guys, I really appreciate all of this. It's uh, it's really generous of you all. Thank you. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, you know, there was just before somebody shot at his house. Somebody in the Twitch chat typed, "Your house is going to get shot up." Apparently, so. It's fucking yeah, that should be traceable, surely. Well, of course. It, it's fucking terrifying, man. Like, what is what is wrong with people? Uh, thank you as well, Beast Ray Zer, for your Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Especially considering he's got kids and stuff, right? Well, that's the like thing. You know, it's one it's one thing while bullets whizzing by your head. You know when you know that's scary enough. When, when it's when it's an upstairs window getting put out and that's where your kids sleep. Oh, Guardian, you are fucking evil. Um. Oh, you're ahead of me again. How is that possible? Well, mate, it's just how I roll. I'm, I'm like Oracle. Like, why is my goal to be slow? It's never paused or anything. And thank you as well, Coolio McDoodle. You gave me some prime, uh, some bits earlier as well. Appreciate it. And you, Van Stork, appreciate it. And you, Flockiv. But yeah, man, like when Wonders, your kids are in is the there house. a way to like skip forwards on the goal? Yeah, shift and F2. Like, a little bit behind. And you'll get a little arrow thing, and then you just move it like when you're watching a demo. What time are you on, Rich? I'm on 50 seconds. All right, same as me then. Yeah, and thanks, thanks for gifting a sub to the Overwatch League 4-decker. This, 
It's just some antagonistic <laughs> bullshit that's going on right now. It's just some serious antagonistic bullshit. I'm going to get shut down for gifting Destiny. subs to people. Destiny needs to be a oh, subscriber right no, now. Get no, Destiny no, in here, people. Destiny. Somebody get Destiny in here. Destiny's going around threatening to shoot me, guys. Please don't. <laughs> he needs to be subbed. Yeah, please Someone don't. get out there. Please don't rattle his own cage. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know what he's like, always talking about his concealed carry, mate. What the fuck? When, why has this happened, though? I mean, by the way, he is someone who literally does try to get relevant. Riot right Games! Riot right Games, baby! Oh, nice. That's a good one. A gift to Riot Games as well. Fuck you, know. <laughs> hey, here's what you, here's what you do. You sub to Riot Games and you oh, say, here you go. Know. Just there the is. tip. There's <laughs> Destiny. Is that really Destiny? I don't know. Yeah, someone's Just done the it. Tip. I was hoping it was Destiny the game, but it isn't. <laughs> Mate, do you know my ba favourite part that people don't know about that whole Patrick Clepek thing? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Did you, do you remember the, the girl who wrote the hit piece about me and you, Richard, <laughs> complained on Twitter that this wasn't going to take us down and that it should have been her hit piece that took us down and yeah, made it all about herself? Yeah, I know, man. That's, I, I, the narcissism was unreal, wasn't I it? Know. It's like she was literally, she was almost like wishing it didn't work. So that, like, she could be the one who should have taken us. That's some mad logic. It was so, like, I, oh, I had to go God. down, like, some mad rabbit hole to even understand it, you know. Loader and Sonic Fox gifted subs now. Like, guys, <laughs> it's simple. That's, that's a good one. I like that. Shut up, old idiot. That's brilliant. Big fan. Holy shit. Appreciate it anyway, guys. A nice little meme stream. Uh, if only there was a way to incorporate this into the future YouTube VOD, it'd be good. We gotta cut. We gotta cut out your your subs as much. Oh yeah, of course. That's how it works. That's why you guys are here for. I I might people call your people. Oh, Hello. Lord, this up. Sorry. Oh, shit. What's up? What's happening? Oh, Hello. Right, that he's needed on the shop floor. Ha! <laughs> 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 Your break's oh, over! Yeah, gonna, Get back, guys! He's, he's has to come out of the fucking closet <laughs> now! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I said a double espresso! I... Oh, my fucking uh, god. Alright, I gotta go. They're testing the fire alarm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Fuck, guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Shit. See you in a bit. Fluffer right. to the stage, Mr. Peter North, <laughs> ready for his scene now. <laughs> Please right, welcome make, to the stage. Make sure you come you back. Call him Larry Launders. Make sure you come back. Hope right. you're safe. Thanks. Oh, man. Thanks for the twenty five dollars sit on. Someone's gifted a tier one sub to Donald Trump. I don't think Donald Trump Facebook. has a Twitch account really. Have <laughs> they given it to the my real Twitch account though? Yeah, probably, yeah. You're now a it's sub. Just the can... same Thorin with three O's, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, this is a regular Thorin, so this might have somebody else. Oh, sorry, I'm going well, Enjoy that, mate. <laughs> enjoy that, mate. Uh, thanks as well. Jake Paul's been <laughs> Give it a sub. Thank you. Does it sound bad? Yeah, I love, love a bit of Jake Paul. He spends more time fucking watching dead bodies than Na'Vi players watching Edward. <laughs> Not bad. Bit of a crowbar on that one. Sorry, right, I'll let you off. I know. I, it's one of those ones where as he's saying that you go, well, I can't just only say half a sentence, so I'm going to complete this, haven't I? Mr. Myrtle gifted a tier one sub to InfoWars Live. Jesus Christ. Do they have oh. a Twitch? Do they have a Twitch? They channel? can't have a Twitch. Surely not. You no, think they not. can't, man. Twitch wouldn't have that, surely. Like, InfoWars on Twitch. That'd be banter, by the way. Like, if they had a gaming channel. Riot are trying to take over your mind, people. Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? I'd love that. What do you think Leon is all about? It's trying to turn you freaking gay. I've got the documents. <laughs> Louise Ment, she's been gifted a sub. Red um, Eye, Logan Paul. Why are you giving it Red Eye? That's not even... That's I not know. Even some, that's a to be fair, that's Red Eye should legit. be subbed to me, though. No. Bit, dis bit okay. disrespectful. K KNG, <laughs> gifted a sub. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is so abusive. All the way to the bank, baby. I hope my prediction comes true. I had a bet, a bet with Launders that this was going to be 16-13 to FaZe from nowhere. Well, I think FaZe can definitely win it. Because Na'Vi's looking fucking a bit more. Oh, no, God, oh, he no, wins those. Oh, no. Not with today, no baby. Oh. So where that's what it took to get one round on the board. Fucking hell. Big Imagine the heavy lifting these guys are doing. Appreciate it, thank you. A sub for Some Tariq the Nasheed. That's actually a real. That is the real Tariq right, Nasheed so. as well. Oh my god! It is. It's him. Yeah, that is the real Tariq. Thank you. And I was just a big there. fan. Nell. 
Thing is, thing with him is, when you get to know him in real life, he's a cool guy. <laughs> is he? Can't tell if he's joking or not. I don't even know if he's a real person, but he looks like a fucking. Uh, he parody, is a parody, anything, yeah, you know? parody account. Yeah, it can't be real, surely. Nah, I mean, I, I think, I think he's even just. The realized... name sounds fake. No, it I, sounds I, like it sounds like a real name, but in a fake way, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, I think, I think, I think what he's realised is just a way to get attention for yourself. If you, you know, Tariq Nasheed is, um, you know, you just constantly call everything racist, and everyone, and like, you do it in a real trolley way, and everyone pays attention to you because they either believe you or they get outraged. Because I do think some of those might, same as like, obviously in a different realm, that like Zemina Jones or whatever, like that seems like the same thing. It's like yeah. the sexuality version of just trolling everything and just making it all hyperbole. Because if one person's that angry, man alive, like, come yeah. on. Like, I figure it might just be like, maybe they're just the most next level Godfrey Elwes that they just don't even let on that it's a joke, you know? As if Zeus and Edward have just been gifted subs. That'd be a nice surprise for them when they're out the tournament. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shut up, old idiot. Oh, that will probably be my favourite clip of all time. Yeah. So it's got so much replay value. Big Herc in there as well. Nice. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah. Oh, Patrick Klopek <laughs> has been gifted. So this, is, <laughs> this is out of fucking control, though, guys. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like. Because what will happen so now are, is, what are Patrick... Are just legit subs, right? Yeah, yeah, these are legit subs that you just give to people. Some, what will happen now is, one of Patrick Klepek's journalist friends will see that he's subbed to me, and it'll be like, Patrick Klepek subscribes to alt-right leader Richard Lewis. He'll be like, no, be it's a gift! <laughs> Don't cast me out of the cult, please! I'm still one of you! Please! They set me up! They set me up! Dot you know that what's got hilarious? Yeah. It's like, in theory, you should be thinking of people like the Patrick Klepek guy, like, oh, you don't want to see when he comes around. No, the person you don't want to see pop up is Nick Monroe saying, I'm just about to start tweeting about tweets that this person has done. <laughs> That's when your arsehole's getting ripped up like a fucking TSA agent on crack. Nah, I tell you, mate, I've fucking said it. I've seen uh, Nick Monroe. Back, he used to be called uh, Press F to Fart or something, or Press Start to Fart. Reasonable. Know, right? But anyway, he, like, he, you know, he was a bit of an obnoxious character back in the day. But in terms of his digging, um, subs for Alex Jones and Shroud, Sadiq Khan, fucking hell. Um, it, it, in terms of like, uh... oh, hang on, fucking hell, what's going on here? Hang on, sorry, mate. Oh. Sorry, my fucking... Twitch is about to shut your channel down for... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I, I thought it had. Yeah. No, my, 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 my fucking... Um... Whatever, Ninja Junior. No, my fucking Streamlabs just, like, blinked off. Like, it, 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 I was just Can't kicked out of it. I was like, did my Twitch account just get banned? Play me. Hastro's there in Play Kentucky. But anyway, about, so about Good Nick stop. Monroe, I, I actually met Nick Monroe, you know, and like, he's a, he's an interesting cat, you know, he's like a bit, um, you know, he's a bit weird, like, I think you have to be to be a journalist, you know, but like, his eye for digging and his dedication to archiving is fucking insane. Like, it's actually insane. And yeah, if he says... I have collated several tweets. He means he's collated all your tweets. <laughs> and you will now be burnt alive. Like, it is bad news if he's sniffing around you, mate. But yeah, thank fuck for that. I thought we got fucking... thought we got banned. Nice. Sub for Paul Joseph Watson. Sub for Polygon. Polygon. That's a good one. Nice. They're all supporting you, man. Yeah, no, great yeah. to see. Pastro as well, of course. Big fan. Big fan. Uh, big fan. Love the way he just big used fan. me. Paul Joseph Watson should actually just do, be a phone sex operator. Imagine my cock! Where did that come from? Why is he said that? Why has he said that, though? I think that stands on its own legs. What? <laughs> Literally. What? <laughs> Why has he just shouted that? <laughs> Reasonable. Well, just as well I've been gifted all these subs because I won't be able to stream for a month after this. So, uh, thanks, yeah, what guys. are the guidelines for getting banned? <laughs> Basically, have Thorin on your stream appears to be 
a new TOS rule that uh, is being implemented. I'm sure there will be some people complaining about bully subscriptions being gifted to them. Like, yeah, you you should actually verbally disclaim these, Richard. Yeah, I I denounce these gifted subs. Subs, Stop can, it right sub, now. <laughs> subs can be hate speech. So I like it. They've gifted a sub to Twitch there. An LGBTQ fighters jokes on you. Already a sub to that. I don't think what else Paul Joseph Watson says. What's in? He says, imagine my shock. Pick, doesn't he say now, picture this. Imagine my shock. I think, it the... isn't one of them something like, how convenient or something. <laughs> Somewhere along those lines, right? I reckon I could do his voice, actually. I I've just ejaculated. How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dorothy Park. <laughs> That, like that. That sounds pretty good. What is that? That's, that's brilliant. What is that? <laughs> that sounds nothing like him, mate. Oh, I will In tell you as well, by the way. Right? Google some it. some cunt who probably watches the stream, as of today, has signed me up to a hair transplant email in service, right? Because I've got, like, fucking five emails in the last hour from different hair transplant clinics all offering me fucking... 25% off if I get a hair transplant today. Oh. So whichever rat did that fucking funny Oh, bravo. That's, that's fucking awesome. Oh. This Navi's team. triggered. Man, Navi's that's triggered that's off that's the video. Time yeah. out! Time out! Lord, this isn't going to come back, by the way, because you were fucking roasting him so hard. <laughs> no, he had no fire alarm. He's calling yeah. his yeah, own fire. Like, like, get I'll, off that channel! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just press this button and it'll sound like a fire alarm and then I'll just go. Can't handle that. He has a soundboard, you know. I mean, he's a professional streamer. Of course, he had a sound effect. I was waiting for him to jump in. The water's nice and warm. <laughs> you, you being signed up, that reminds me. When I was growing up, obviously a long time ago, I walked in my dad's office one day, and he had a stack of magazine subscription cards. You know, like, even now they go. still have them. You know, they're, they're in the magazines. You buy a magazine, yeah. there's like a subscription shit, right? Yeah. And he'd collect these, right? Because he traveled, his job was logistics in, in the hospitality industry, so he was always traveling, reading different magazines. So he'd always collect them, right? And I, at one time, I was old enough to like ask, like, like, why are you doing this? And he's like, this is how I have my, my little fun with people. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, if someone pisses me off, I sign him up for some magazines. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like 14, <laughs> so I got it. I'm like... Uh, you know, the word troll and all wasn't being used. Yeah, really, but they I'm didn't like, use it back then. He's like, yeah. If someone pisses me off enough and I got their address, they're going to get five or ten of these stupid fucking magazines. And I was like, wow, that is the most awesome thing my dad has ever said to me. Like, that is cool. That is, like, one of your forms of revenge. Like, they'll never know, man. All of a sudden, these magazines just start showing up, you know? Yeah, man. I, I remember people used to fucking do that as well. Like, even in my yeah, time, that was like sign people up to, like, news and you set, fucking... You set the card in, right? Yeah. You just filled it out. Then it didn't cost you a stamp. And then all of a sudden, you... Are on the hook to get this first magazine for free, and then if you don't cancel, you're gonna get one every month, and then we're gonna start sending you bills and shit. So Thanks that's, for I guess that's uh, the... gifting T Martin a sub. Scoots approves of that one too. Oh, oh yeah, I love that guy. Sub to E Frag as well. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, dude, how isn't that just proof as well, Richard? Like they try oh. to get me people like me and you out of esports. People yeah. who have objectively done things which appear to be criminal <laughs> just can't ever be removed. Nah, I've got, got to give them second chance, but didn't don't make that edgy joke house. one time. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Nice, a, a sub for feminist frequency. That that is, that is the pinnacle. That is. That yeah, is. is that not the ultimate ultimate baller move? Is the guys from Efrag? A few of them leave, a few of them stay. They rebrand to avoid debt, and they call their company Collateral Damage. Pretty cool, and, mate. That's so unreal, that is, isn't it? It's so unreal. That's like, you were all collateral damage. I am your father. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> that was more was space balls. Than, it. Yeah, it was more space balls. Yeah. Yeah. More space balls is what I meant to be like a joke of evil than real evil. I thought Lorders would come back in with his mic. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, I'm, I'm not actually watching the stream. I'm just inside a closet on my smartwatch. Hey, can you guys hear me? It's microphone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what a fucking shower of cunts you all are, man. Like, I, 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 I meant trying to get Lords to come on, like, non-stop. He actually, like, went out and was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get a MacBook and I'll come on, like, ten minutes later. Oh, yeah, they're testing the fire alarms, lads. Yeah, uh, be right back. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can't take you fuckers anywhere, man. You knew. Yeah, I, 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 I saw it in you. I saw it in you. I gotta remember, like when when there's there's like a handful of people I can handle Duncan. Duncan is that if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't. <laughs> you don't deserve me at my best, fucker. He is the fucking. That's the principle I use for tournament organizers. <laughs> yeah. The Marilyn Monroe of fucking esports, but yeah, like obviously we 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 can all handle it. Laundress is Laundress is new and delicate. Yeah. No more That intro we did for that was And DMC I don't like, that I don't know intro how was so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the best talent intro ever. The Angels. Yeah, man, that was fucking good. Those were the good old days. Like... You all should just Google No More Tears right now. Play yeah. yourself. Nice and loud. Back in the days when a standard day's work was 16 hours, <laughs> off to a travel lodge, and a day rate was an entire events rate. And that was two best of threes. <laughs> so long in there. <laughs> oh, God. I still never lose forget this. when we were fucking sitting. You know, when we, the set we had was the, the sit down set, so we were in that like yeah. little. That Cubby. was the best one in that little room. Well, that was the best. It was a talk show set for like, and that's when we had to fill for hours. And we were making fun of fucking B Rice and his two piece and a oh, biscuit course, Call of Duty yeah. shit. I'll yes. still it's never. When that guy came, when that and investor I, guy I came in, that and about something totally me so really different. Much. Yeah. I remember when that investor guy popped his head around the corner because it was two people looked in first and we were like, two piece, and then he just popped his head around and a biscuit. <laughs> then we were just <laughs> laughing right in this guy's face. Oh, no, was... I, know, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like when Scoops dropped, and a biscuit. I was, and a biscuit. I was so fucking crazy. And then it's the way they come back later. So who was that guy? Just a new investor, potentially yeah. <laughs> joining yeah. the company. Or something. Yeah, just, just a new potential investor was looking to put millions in the company. He's yeah. just gone off to buy some KFC for some reason. We're like, oh, sorry about that. Oh no, they loved it. They loved it. Yeah, sure they did. I'm sure. No, they but did. I'll I'll never fucking <laughs> process like, because why was Bryce a fucking runner? I've never understood it to this weird. day. Like yeah, a, I successful, don't think, I don't a successful a successful Call of Duty commentator was running and getting our like drinks of food and obviously we're having banter with him because we think he works for gfinity you remember on the last day <laughs> when we yeah, fucking I wasn't broke aware he was like legit no, I know. And, and, and oh yeah yeah i knew, I knew on, he was a caster but you know i mean that's what on, on, on the last day when we fucking broke him he's like this is my life you remember <laughs> Because we kept bantering about how shit Call of Duty casters were compared to uh, Counter Strike being the real stars yeah. and all that. Now go get me some more it's chicken, B Rai. He kept calling him <laughs> yeah. B Rai. You know? <laughs> I kept calling him B Rai. Because oh, he did that classic <laughs> thing you never do in like a British school, which is the first time they say it, you don't like get sad or whatever. Because then they're like, we've got him. So it's like. Once the fucking blood's in the water, it's yeah, over. I know, it? I know, I know, I know. So bad. Like, oh, does that get to you, does it? Well, be it bad. was so <laughs> yeah, bad. <don't... laughs> Let me just poke that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was and also, you know, you're at these events typical. staying up all these long hours, so you just look, you, you don't have any sort of meter for, like, human empathy. You just, you venting on that guy. Hey, oh. B Rice, get, get me a Nando's. <laughs> I, need some, I need some more of that Nando. <laughs> He's begrudgingly like, oh yeah, we he's broke He's such him. a nice guy, though. Like, I, I'll, I'll yeah. be honest. Oh, he's legit as fuck. No, and he's a legitimately good call. Yeah, and, he, and like, he's good. But like, I'll be, I'll be honest. That's the one time I felt like maybe the banter went a bit too far. Like, I am gonna go out and I'll yeah, admit that, that one. That was a little bit harsh. Yeah, that's that was hard. a bit much. Because he should have rolled it a little bit back. Yeah, yeah, he coped with it so well for all that time. Yeah, and it's not his fault. He was put in a position where he had to look after us, and he's legit talent in his own right, which should never happen, by the way. Obviously, and, yeah. And then we're straight fucking breaking 
kicking his balls the entire time. Like, Counter Strike's loads better than Call of Duty. All you motherfuckers do is talk about KFC. What the fuck's a two piece and a biscuit? What are you talking about? <laughs> Just straight wrecking him non stop. This is my life. Shut up and get me some yeah. chicken, B Ray. <laughs> it was. It was too much. It was too savage, man. Cafe Mocha, please. That's probably part of the reason why Red Eye didn't last too long with us and that whole crew because That's like you, you have to be a little subservient in those roles when you're dealing with a production. You just it's kind of the nature of it. Yeah. Not that not that Paul was ever getting his coffee, but when he had to deal with talent and everything. Yeah, it's, it's true, dude. You, it's true. I mean, you, I, I, you know, happy. I'm the same. I, I'm a director in this company, but I'm responsible for yeah. all talent hires and making sure they're all right. Trust me, I'll be I'll be doing coffee runs now. You know. Is what it I is. can't lie, that is one thing I did learn. Because in yeah. the early days of esports, like half the people there were just volunteers and incompetent, and you know, all the people helping you. Mm. Like, I did have to learn when I got to fucking E League. Like, yeah, some of these people actually work for the company, and like, we consider them part of our community, co corporate family. Please don't harass them. Yeah. 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 Like, Get me my fucking drink. <laughs> yeah. No, no, he actually works for the company. All right, yeah. my mistake. My yeah, mistake. Please, please, please will you health. get me my fucking drink? Uh, fucking, I you know I, I I've never felt comfortable with it. Like I I kind of got used to it at TV because it was more like it, the, the runners felt bad. They felt it was like a bad reflection on them. If you if you were like, no, I'll get my own. Be like, no, I'm all oh, right. I'm literally here to get it for you. Like if you go and get it, it actually makes me look bad. People will start yeah, asking, right. I'm like, I, is he doing his job? You know. So it was like it was I used a bit. To love it. Yeah, it was a bit weird. I I don't like it. I don't. I feel very uncomfortable when people are like fetching me drinks and food and stuff like that. It's, yeah, you're giving him a job, though. Yeah, They'd but just I... come along to me in the morning. What do you want? I'd go, Bruno Mars. They'd go, What do you mean? The Black Rock star today, baby. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I don't like it, man. I, I really you don't. You know, I try to keep it smooth and not at all cringy. Yeah, which, which you know, some, sometimes. And they were some obliged to laugh at all the things I said, no matter yeah, how. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. That was the other thing. We, <laughs> oh, we, had, we, we had a rule at E League where it was like we told all the oh. talent, you fucking guardian is mental with a scout, isn't he? Um, we had a rule. Everyone must laugh at Thorin's jokes, but you may not make eye contact with him, but you must laugh. Exactly. Oh, Mr. Shields. Oh. <laughs> I do declare you are the funniest of all time. Mercy. Yeah. I have got we the don't... papers. We don't get this kind of accent down here. We don't... Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. Now, where's my fucking rock star? <laughs> my fucking monster. Fucking rock star. I, I told you Red Bull's the devil. In the back. <laughs> Mate, we're not back. Right? Here's the thing. Do you know what? Edward rocking them three kills. I'll, Get him I'll, out I'll of my fucking Narvi, man. It's a I'll, joke. I'll, I'll it's tell a joke. you a really quick story from the old days of esports. In yeah. the really early days of esports. Are the balls? I once, no, a little bit after that. Like maybe like, yeah, maybe a couple, maybe around that time, actually. I once did contact a whole bunch of energy drink companies and say, I'm, I'm researching energy drinks effect on gamers and I'm writing an article. So if you would like your brand to be featured, please send me some free stuff to this. <laughs> like, my, like my fucking house when I was in uni, you know, and then they all sent me loads of it. I drank all the drinks, obviously. And then like two months later, one of them was like, so when's this article coming out? So I just cobbled together something like, yeah, they can make you feel better for 10 minutes. And then after that, you crash. <laughs> <laughs> they just give me it all for free. <laughs> so, uh, is this article yeah, actually it's out there? Yeah, it's somewhere, but it'll be. It I might probably... be on one of the sites that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, you know, that's the problem. So it wasn't like... some great article, you know. Oh, I'd love to find it. I'm honestly oh, no, just did it just to get all the drinks, didn't I? I was just yeah, to be blagging it because I was a student. I didn't give a fuck. Excessive taurine does, in fact, make you exactly. I didn't even give them all like a big. Like I, I'm obviously not a shill, so I didn't give them like a positive review. They're not. They're not objectively good, are they? <laughs> the packaging on the balls bottle, by far. Uh... I had I had a promotion like that, right? Where um, uh, we were doing uh, like it was a Southern Comfort giveaway. They did this thing called like a uh, Boo Ray Poker or something back in the okay. early nineties, early two thousands, right? And it was like, basically the promotion was, it was like a poker night, like Texas Hold'em or something. And, um, you know, you, you entered and you drank Southern Comfort and it was like a Southern Comfort themed table at our university entertainments thing. But they also did a giveaway, you know, giveaway bottles of Southern Comfort. And they said, like, we will send you a case um, of Southern Comfort and you just give away, like, you know, as many bottles as you want in the giveaway. Show us you've done the giveaway, you know, for proof. And then we'll keep you on our mailing list and send you more goodies and stuff. So I was like, sound. But anyway, they sent this case of fucking Southern Comfort, right? And obviously I was a massive pisshead. 
So I told all the lads, got 24 fucking bottles of Southern Comfort up here. Like, so fucking, yeah, we got, I was like, and they were like, well, don't you have to give it away? Don't you have to do a giveaway? I'm like, just give away one bottle or something, won't I? Fucking sound. Like, all they said is I have to do a giveaway. No worries. I give so, one to you and one to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did give them away. Give them to my fucking mate. <laughs> So we got on the fucking, we, we, we drank and we drank and we drank for like two, three days. Caned all 24 bottles, of course, didn't give away anything. I was like, fuck it. So I wrote, I wrote Southern Comfort a nasty letter. Like, where's my fucking Southern Comfort for this giveaway I'm meant to be doing? <laughs> the edition is due out in two weeks and you want me to do a giveaway? This is outrageous. So they said, we are so sorry. We will immediately send you another case. Oh. And, the be and the beauty of it was... To fucking, <laughs> because they, they they were late, they sent another case as an apology for the fucking. Oh, hell. So I got I got like something insane, like fucking sixty four bottles of Southern Comfort in a term. So I was pissed all the time. Gave three bottles away in the magazine. Suck my nuts. But then the second time I emailed them, where's my fucking Southern Comfort? <laughs> At that point, they stopped responding for some reason. <laughs> And also the, now the I'm legally up. never allowed to say the words of the company, so it wasn't actually Southern Comfort. Nice sub for Southern Comfort, just gifted there. Yeah, their booze was pissed anyway. Yeah. Thing is, I, went. I can't even drink yeah. it now, mate. I, 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 I legit can't even drink that stuff now because I drank that much of it back then. Yeah, I'll do it to you. I even got attacked by a fucking Tom Jones impersonator with a hammer <laughs> at, at my fucking student ball while I was on that stuff. So, just too many bad memories. God love you, Tom the Voice. You got arrested and missed the 2002 World Cup because you attacked me. Much love. I wonder what he's up to now. Then again, there wasn't much to see, just a bunch of Koreans cheating. <laughs> but yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, they, we, had a, we had a Tom Jones impersonator band come down to our fucking... Um, student ball, you know, called Tom the Voice, and uh, I was the editor of the newspaper, so I had to fucking, you know, cover the ball. And the, the premise was I did it Gonzo style, you know. So I got pissed, uh, pissed up, and I went, I went, I went down there, and we had like I don't know King Pleasure and the Biscuit Boys, were, like some swing band, like some knockoff kind of swing jazz band, you know. Covered them, and then Tom the Voice was the headline and actor. Right? So uh, uh, you know, obviously Tom Jones, big in Wales, you know all that. So, I, I fucking, uh, their manager yeah. was like fucking giving me the runaround all night. I'm like, can I just interview Tom, Tom, please? And then, like, I'll just get on about my day and like, go back to the ball. She's like, oh, yes, Tom's uh, busy doing a vocal warm up right now. So I waited and waited and waited. I was like, can I interview Tom now? And like, no, no. Tom's incredible. Like, you know, I was getting treated like he was the fucking real Tom Jones, you know? So it took all this time anyway. It got super late and I got to go backstage and interview, you know, Tom the Voice. And I've got my little dictaphone and I'm recording it. And I said, oh, it's finally good to meet you. You know, I made all my uh, introductions. And I said, um, you know, I was getting a little bit worried. Thought you didn't want to talk to me because, you know, I was being given the runaround by your uh, manager all night. And the drummer, like, went, manager? That's just some groupie he's fucking, right? So all of a sudden, the fucking, the room just goes, like, deathly quiet. And he's like, ha, 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 because he's married. Right? Like, he's a married man. So... Um, I'm, and, I'm, and he goes, listen, mate, I know you're recording this interview, but I'd feel real better if you would um, just give me that cassette tape. And I said, listen, Tom the Voice, I, I don't care if you... I've got groupies and all that on the side, mate. I'm not going to write about that in the article, am I? Like, I'm going to fucking... You know, it's... I, but I need to know what the answers to all the other questions. I can't remember it. And he was going, yeah, but all the same, I'd just feel better. And he, like, started reaching over for the tape, you know. And I'm like, no, listen, mate... I promise I am not going to reveal your infidelity in my in the magazine. And then he goes, look, I want that fucking tip. And he starts, like, trying to grab it off <laughs> me, right? It? And all, all the bands start getting older me, like, three, two other lads. And I, two other lads, and I'm like, what the fuck, guys? And I'm clinging to this dictaphone. Like, I don't want to give it up for some reason, you know? Like, I mustn't give it up. I've, and the interview is precious, the interview. I must get my article, you know? And uh, anyway, the drummer or someone like this is he had... the journalist in you, man. So you yeah, know. this is where Richard Lewis was born, you know. And um, <laughs> exactly the Richard Lewis you all know and love. So anyway, the fucking uh, his drummer or someone had like a kit bag, you know, for assembling the drum kit, right? And there's all tools and that in it. So he picked something out. I think it was a hammer, and he smashed me over the head with it, like bump right on the top of my box, you know. 
and um, this fucking flapper skin. I've got a scar on my head from it still. Uh, as flapper skin like fell down. I got blood all pissing down my face. <laughs> I haven't even registered that he's hit me. You know, I'm like fucking give me the dictaphone, and everyone's like backing off, like walking away, like you know. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm absolutely covered in fucking claret, right? So I'm like, I, I throw the dictaphone down, get hold of the clip. The cl like closest person we're having a tussle and a rumble around i'm just bleeding like all over this guy like and then i start like blacking out you know because i'm drunk and i'm losing blood from a head wound you know so they all fuck off and the next thing i know i'm like wandering around outside the ball like uh, uh, just like a big flap of skin hanging down off my head and just blood all over me i got sent like away in an ambulance and i have stitches in my head and a fucking tetanus jab and all this shit and uh, anyway the fucking band they were due to fly to the 2002 world cup um, because, like, obviously, you know, British fans love, you know, why, why, why Delilah and singing songs and that. And anyway, he got arrested and missed his flight and didn't go. Because, <laughs> all because of this shit, so. A true All because he couldn't keep his dick in his <sighs> fucking pants. When, so when, when, when will the patriarchy with... fucking learn, eh? Out of a tussle with Tom the Voice comes the Goblin King himself. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is the comeback real? Is it possible? That's Edward. No, it's not. That's Edward, unfortunately. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, were you Oh, on me one. Yeah, but it, 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 it's, it's Edward versus, versus his Guardian. former teammate. He yeah, Guardian on pistols. And out. Chat shit, get uh, banged. Here we go. He's absolutely wrecked him, hasn't he? He's he absolutely clowned him right now. He's treated him like a child. You need like a Benny Hill music <laughs> right about now. That was Edward, crazy. Dude. Fucking... Look, he's even Benny Helen over there in the chair. So, so, yeah, thanks for all the gifted subs. I'll do a sub count at the end of uh, this game, guys, because it's been a bit of a banger. But, yeah, man. So... It's not high enough, though. Let's go. Fucking hell. It's good. Get your mom's credit you, card. You can tell you were in EG. 20 sponsors, 20 but it's not enough. Give me up. 20 kills for Flamey in the down 11. Not enough, five. so we're going to open another team. What the fuck? <laughs> there. He's in hell. Yeah, he is, mate. At least Edward's on eight kills now, so it's pretty good. You just know there's going to be the def. If they don't do super well in this major, definitely roster moves in Arby. Oh, God, it's hands. got to be. Maybe even if they don't. Maybe I think they have to win at this point in time. It feels like that, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. The twenty kills is Guardian, not Flamey, because the hood is broken. So if you want the accurate kill, you look at the thing at the bottom. Oh, not, that's not weird. the side. Yeah. Yeah, it's like some new. Yeah. Bug. I that would make more sense in the game then, right? Yeah, uncomfortably also... sweaty. I saw some of the subs you gave. It's brilliant that, of course, that like you have sub to everyone with alt right in their fucking Twitch username. Definitely not going to come back and bite me on the arse. That is it. Like, look at all these alt right people who sub to Richard Lewis. Get me out. I heard most of your viewers actually used to write for Breitbart. I'm not yeah, quite it's sure true. If that's true. Yeah, <laughs> but I read that somewhere. Yeah, all of them. All 50,000 yeah. followers. <laughs> oh, see, so yeah, there's a few of them in chat mentioning it's there. Yeah, raise your hand if you worked at one point for Breitbart. I also, yeah, Bertha, you, you fucking... You know the old school beefs with the Buckeye Sunday sub. So. One of the greats. Yeah, one of the greats. An absolute cunt and a half. Like. What's he up to nowadays? Because he's not a sub anymore, right? A mod anymore. Yeah, he, yeah, he's fucking... Just, just, yeah, his life just, got too busy. <laughs> yeah, just ruined just, just ruined my life with uh, a, a post he refuses to delete, all full of demonstrable lies. Um, that is the, still the top thing that comes up if you search my name on Reddit, but... Just allowed to rizzle, oh, yeah. rizzle, dizzle his way into a, a better life, isn't he? Not me, though. I've got to live with uh, all these lies and anonymous mod told about me on the biggest esports forum, of course. It's so wild when I actually did that thing you told me, which is that if you contact the admins about some, like, fucked up things. I did it when that guy literally said that my work was, like, hate speech or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I contacted them all. I said, you do know I could I could take this to court in the UK because he's accusing me of a crime, you know? Yeah. And they literally replied saying, like, 
you know, we're sorry you had a bad experience with these people, mm. but when it comes to the behavior of our mods, we like to give them a wide like berth in terms of leeway as yeah. what they're, you know, some mad comment like that. So essentially you're just saying he's allowed to do that. <clears throat> nice. Well, this is one of the things though. It's already been held up in America by the uh, ninth, um, you know, what is it? The ninth circuit court of appeals or whatever the fuck that um in it, it, there's been a couple of cases where the act the activities of moderators and volunteer workers on a website have been held up as representing that business of course because yeah of especially course. when yeah. you're essentially using them like in free labor working yeah. as employees yeah so so you know i, I like Reddit need to stop fucking around because if I ever, I, I've already talked to a, a, a specialist lawyer in this area about it. They they have even refused to give me a copy of the data that they hold on me, which is illegal. And I, I said this, I showed the emails to um, this lawyer, and he was like, "Well, they're fucked immediately. Like they can't refuse to do that by refusing to give you a copy of the data. Is it, just before you even get into safe harbor laws and, and all of that by refusing to do that, they are violating." Um, you know the, the 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 laws that they have to abide by. So, um, Simple so, go ham. Maybe not. Be better. Yeah. <laughs> did his best. Yeah, he did uh, his best. Yeah, I got one. Oh, as if this boss is winning. So I mean, like I, I've said, like whenever I, whenever I've decided I want to just fucking throw some money and go to war with Reddit proper on the League of Legends, like I have, I have a dossier on Reddit that is insane. I've got Reddit mods sharing personal private data with Riot Games, proven. So yeah. with Riot Games employees. So all right, no worries. Take him down. No, no worries. And, uh, like, and, and there's also, I mean, before you even get into that, just by virtue of um like that's why they call it safe harbor laws. but by virtue of harboring something that's harmful and detrimental to my reputation that's demonstrably not t true that you have refused to, to even investigate um you know so say for example there was a post up about a celebrity you know pick whoever's popular right now you know um robert downey jr let's say there was a front page post on reddit and it was someone like i am an insider and robert downey jr is back on the cocaine and relapsing and i have proof about it and it was like some faked photographs you know of a guy who looks a bit like robert downey jr doing cocaine and let's say the story blew up and robert downey jr fucking like lost the, lost his role as iron man right you're telling me reddit don't get sued for that grow up of course they do that that post had to come down you know so there's plenty of posts like that about me that have, that have literally, I can demonstrate, have hurt me financially. The, the, the Buckeye Sunday post cost me a sponsor. So, you know, that's tens of thousands of dollars right there that I'll be entitled to. So I can't wait. Oh, because they, they like Googled it or something. Yeah. A, a, a fucking a, a spo a, a sponsor like was like, oh, yeah, you know, we want to have a look. Anyway, somebody had somebody either they found it or somebody sent them that post and they were like, We can't be associated with this negative type of behaviour. Didn't do any of it. Yeah, and they're not removing it. Yeah, and or you're just leaving it, it there. Anything. That can happen again and again and again and again and again and again. Continually. Alright, Anders. And again. <laughs> I've said, Are you that kidding was... me? Again and again. And then and again and again and again. Now buy my stickers. This is going a distance, boys. It is. I said 16-13 affairs. I'm feeling pretty good. I miss Launders. I wish Duncan wasn't <laughs> a bully. Because I really miss my Launders. Ooh. Oh, it's your Launders. Like, is there some sort of, like, colonialism happening here again? No, the sad thing hey, about hey, hey, Come on. Hey, Let's not go polygon thing. on it. Yeah, what's the This thing? is the saddest thing about Launders. <laughs> yeah. Think about it, right? Because he did a lot of the tier two circuit, like a lot of online cops, yeah. he would have been primed to have worked on a Zubu, and his alias is Launders. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Money oh, and yeah. he never was the route. Like, I, don't, I think they would have just died before he came around, right? Maybe, yeah. That would have been so beautiful. Yeah. That would have been good. And then what would have been better is if they hadn't appeared in. <laughs> oh, man. That's the punchline. Nice. Yeah. You got an ESGN. That would beauty. Good to see Zeus missing the easiest double spray down of all time.
but he is going to make that straight fire YouTube video full of secrets with exactly. his insider contacts at Valve. Like. Plus, the thing you have to understand about him, Richard, is he really doesn't care what I have to say. That's why he has to tweet directly at me, saying yeah. no respect. The thing I found about people who don't care what you say is they always have to they like let the whole world know that they don't care what you say. So it's weird that, isn't it? But they uh, they generally still care what you say. DK is welcome to come on the Discord, guys, but he can't at the moment because he's at work, I think, so. DK just said that he's going to London, which see you there, but also he's staying he's with Sam. See. Yeah, yeah, Sam and DK are going to be getting fucked up. I think DK is coming out to Vegas as well, so DK is going to be staying at my place. Oh, my God. So, obviously, we got fucking Duncan coming out to visit as well after ESL New York, and I think possibly Moses and Henry. All right. Little, to Vegas? Yeah, little, little fucking yeah, hangover Vegas. type crew. So if you want to, if you want to come along as well, Scoots, it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Let me know those dates because it just is. Just make uh... sure you get the full doctor's work up before you come out. You know we've got to be responsible here because <laughs> <laughs> we're going hard. I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I'll I'll try my hardest to piss out my kidney stones before you get here. So. Oh, I mean, oh as if he's won this. Oh, he, he, he did win this. Oh, shit. Oh, course, have you seen what it's, he's won a couple of clutches already in I this mean, game? I mean, it wasn't much, Duncan, but it's, but it's been a long time since I walked out of a place and the sun was coming up. I did do that with you recently, right? Sure. I, won. Yeah. I did try to hang with the kids in Stockholm yeah. once. It was a chill night, though, so it was easy to hang. Wasn't too bad. Too bad. Yeah, that's true. We might have to IRL stream some of that. Before it gets too wild, like stream, stream the first three or four drinks. Like, <laughs> look, we're all together and we're all. I don't want to end up in some sort of an ice Poseidon type scenario, Richard, no. where I'm just being attacked by a certain ethnic group. And in Vegas, you got to be careful once you roll into a casino with the camera. Well, you're worried some Brazilians might find you in Vegas. Like, <laughs> I mean, if anything, fucking Henny and Lucas one probably there right now. Yeah, that's true. I could imagine them on some like Dennis Rodman level shit where like between the games they just fly to Vegas. <laughs> That's why they were late to that game. The, the fucking <laughs> boarding was delayed by an hour. They were like, hey, am, am I going to make my connection? <laughs> I, I reined it in a little bit. I didn't go full. I just did a, a little impression. Come on, bro. Is it okay like... to be 1% naughty? No. <laughs> not, not in your case, man. Uh, Not when everyone's TOS, gunning for you. Like. TOS. Simple you, has to go hard. You gotta you, you, you got protect yourself before you correct yourself, Duncan. You know what I mean? You had a good month of subs, at least, Richard. It was yeah, that's good true. Here that we is go. true. Back in the site. Yeah, simple, man. What a fucking travesty that this guy's not going to be winning every tournament Edward. right now. Edward got one. Oh, he did get Still one. Still doable, though. Yeah, simple still alive, so. Let's see what Olaf can do here, though, because he can kill both. Well, that's the big one. I don't think he saw electronic, though, yeah. Didn't. Nah, it's unwinnable now. It is if Nico plays this. Oh, oh no. No, hide, you idiot. What? Oh, what? That seems a bit weird. The problem was it, it wasn't planted for Nico. Yeah, so it wasn't planted for sure. On the other side of the I cont I'd, oh. I'd, yeah, contextually, that was a bad plant, really. Thank you for the Twitch Prime Blitzy232. Oh, I'm calling every time. Why the fuck not? Oh, I'm just going to be in some fresh hell where I'm going to have to watch Edward do a winner's interview again. <laughs> it's just too easy, all this winning, man. Like, get me out. China number one. <laughs> Love me. Oh, oh no. It's happening going. again. Holy yeah, shit. Man. Thanks, Eddie. 1892. Thanks for the Twitch Prime iMarbot. Thanks for the Twitch Prime Messer Squad 15 months in a row. Always good to have the Vin Salami here and support you. What you need to do, Vince, talking about lawsuits, is you know that other bald head that people keep using that isn't you? You need to sue that cunt for fucking, you know, <laughs> your, taking your image. Season to desist on that motherfucker. Yeah, put a man. season to desist on it. You can only C use my real bald that. head in the Vincels. Thank, thanks, Hair Nala and Spixine for your Twitch Primes. Thanks. 
Hey, who, who even is that guy? I don't even know who he is. Do you know, Scoot? Do you know about emotes and that? Do you know who that bald fella is? Wait. But the one that they're all spamming? Yeah, because they, they spam it and say uh, Vince sells, but obviously it's not Vince. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Is it Crims? Know. It's not Crims. Is that really Crims? Uh, is it... Oh, I don't no, mind that then. Crims. If Crim, if Crims is getting wrecked, is that cr uh, being uh, called yeah. a Vincel, like I'm all right with it then. But the, but the funny thing is, who's using Crims's picture? It can't there? be Crims. Yeah, it's not Crims. I didn't think it was Crims. You'd be amazed. I wouldn't flatter in some pictures. Are huh? there's like some emote to me, like that Yikes one, where I look like an overweight bald man. It's ridiculous. Right, here we go. This is my... Th hashtag, this is my fave. No. Oh, here we go. Oh. That's so fucking time. stupid. And there's Edward. 11-5 to 11-11. <laughs> might have blown the game here. These two rounds yeah. might be the killer. Might have blown their beans, mate. Yeah, see, people are starting to realise that OMG Scoops isn't global anymore, Scott. You've set it off now. Yeah. But it is available. I'm a non-streamer streamer. Uh, you know, if you wanted to use that, if you had that, you got your mom's Twitch Prime going for Richard, feel free to get your dad's <laughs> Twitch Prime or maybe your little sisters. Yeah. Get that Amazon Prime over to Sad, Scoots After Dark. Uh, Sir Scoots is the Twitch. You can, get, you can get. I'll do what all those Fortnite people do and simply get a fake dot .edu email account pretending you're at college. Sign up for Prime, where you get it for free, and then sub to someone in the hope of winning a giveaway and getting free in-game skins. You then sell on eBay, legitpromotions.com. Uh, thanks for the Twitch Prime, Hallowed Legion, and thank you for the Twitch Prime RW dial. And don't worry, I'll, I'll be streaming soon. Wait, yeah, wait, about time. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> I do want to fire it back up. I do like the, I do like the After Dark streams. With the green screens. Yeah, it's a good time. I have fun doing it. I just about it. I haven't been excited to play a game in a while, so I just playing it. I do have the coolest stream intro on the planet. It's true, man. I really like your um, your t-shirts, actually. The Scoots After Dark t-shirts yeah. like, with the Cheers font. They're really good. Yeah, the whole, whole thing's all cheered up. Yeah, yeah. Nice Cheers, theme of it. And just think, no more Cheers. It's true. Cancelled it. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, no more Cheers. Electronics just gangster as fuck. Insane spray transfers, of course. Oh, I'm in hell, aren't I, Duncan? Oh, when you die, this game. yeah. When when you die, you did go to esports heaven. Me, I went to esports hell. Just so happened they were the same place. <laughs> I know we met each other. Yeah. You're like, hey, I love it down here, me, Rich. I don't, Duncan. Let me go to the light. No, let's do a podcast. <laughs> exactly. Every time I say something controversial, your name is immediately mentioned. But Duncan, <laughs> I never said those things. <laughs> You will be down here forever. <laughs> so unreasonable. It's all part of the Faustian bargain. I know. It's like, exactly. but, but at the same oh. time, I signed nothing. Fire, so would you like more? Down at the crossroads. <laughs> I signed nothing. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it, mate? Right? Here's the thing. Yes. Nowadays, the DreamHack open circuit is just ass. Like, no one watches that shit. <laughs> Out of Half, that like, way, so... Even the teams playing don't have enough family members that could watch that to get any fucking streaming numbers. But if they ever want to get Where? their fucking swag back, they get the big books out, they get the three people in here now. I would say four, but Vince has already given, it, given up the ghost. So <laughs> Before three of us old assholes who could have retired ages ago. But anyway, you know, I'm not calling him a queer or coward rating. That's, that's for other people to say. So, <laughs> get us three back on my stream life with the G for these angels and we will fucking rock the show. 
I mean, I I think uh, I think Hector made the point. Uh, he might even have tweeted it out. Um, he said like like you know you've got these like you've got these events and like you know the numbers are pretty low and it's like you know get some get some flair. Yeah, for sure. A little bit of flair and showmanship, you know. He understands that obviously with optic, right? Oh, he's the boss, man. One of my favorites. Yeah, legend, man. Angel Although um, this is interesting, um, you know, Milk, the Danish dude who's like the yeah. manager for Optic, uh, they put a tweet up on the Optic Reddit, uh, a tweet, they put a post up on the Optic Reddit um, saying they are not going to re-sign a Dota 2 team. Ah, that's because uh, I saw that a bunch of them had like, left, it, like PBD, etc. and left, so maybe they just couldn't get enough good players. Yeah, well, so. that's what he said. He said that like, we couldn't get ones that were like commensurate to what we want as an organization. Makes sense. Um, and that's the thing people don't know. That if you want to talk about entitled players, Dota players are not in this universe, man. Oh, they no, live in no. they think they live in some ultimate reality. It's you unreal. Said universe. Like, market <laughs> they think they you know the market they think they live in is not one that I've ever existed no, in. No, but listen, so I can tell you some stories here, right? Um several journalists told me that when they were at like TIs and they wanted to get like on camera interviews with uh, Dota players, um they uh, the, the Dota players like basically said like I it'll cost you like a you know a thousand dollars like whatever you know, like you've got to you've got to you've got to pay me to appear on camera uh, for you and on top of that I also know from tournament organizers that Dota teams have been like just asking for, like the top Dota teams just ask for a, like for the non uh, ones where there's like ranking points and stuff and obviously the ones that aren't run by Valve they've been asking for appearance fees like they just say like. You know, you've got to pay us like the six figure amount and we'll come to your event. It's wild as fuck. I remember when everyone got uh, crazy about that in League of Legends. We're like, was it TSM or, or Cloud9? I can't remember who it was. But didn't didn't someone do it? Uh, well, like, well, they had something similar, yeah. If yeah, in ESL. An IEM, I, I want to say IEM. it was TSM. Yeah, for an IEM, right? I think it was TSM, yeah. It was for like yeah. IEM San Jose or something. Yeah. Because the one year I think they didn't go there. I can't remember. Probably more are doing it because it's obviously more of a. That's wow. why they used to. They, so. I can't lie. Again, they are fucking gangsters the way they run. Their, like they know what they're doing. What they used sure. to do is every time cook ESL because ESL always announces the teams at the event. You know, months before to build up the hype. Yeah. So what they did was a whole bunch of the top LCS teams would sign up to play at the event, and then gradually they'd be dropping out one by one until you made the deal. So it's mm. like. They basically were just wrecking you, like holding your event hostage. So all the people had already bought the tickets, and you're like, well, fuck, I can't just have none of these teams to, you know, like, yeah. they know what the fuck they're doing, mate. That's the thing. I respect the gangster, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do, mate. Especially where money's involved. Cheers for the sub, Stromers. Appreciate it, mate. But, um, but yeah, it is. It's a very different world, like, because outside of, like, the TI. You know the viewing, the viewing numbers don't justify an appearance fee in in Dota. Unfortunately, I wish they did. I wish more people watched it. I wish I wish you had bigger sponsors. But I mean, like you think about it, like ESL are like we want to run Dota events, but there is no inherent money for us if we do. Don't worry, we will sign this big sick deal with Facebook. Dota immediately say we will never watch your event if it's on Facebook. Fuck you forever, like, ESL. Like the so mad that. thing is. They, How do you ever monetize it? Understand, like what you're just saying there is absolutely right. Like it, it may even be the case that ESL might have been where if we don't get to one of these deals, we'll just stop doing Dota. So it's like that scenario where people complain about like female pro gamers having tournaments, and I tell them, yeah, but that money actually only exists for that. So what you're saying is, I'd rather have nothing than have this thing that. Yeah, I but want actually, to. the community that doesn't the make community, sense. The community do say that. Now, here's what I will say. I remember when the Facebook deal come through. Um, thanks a lot for Twitch Prime, Duck123. When, when the Facebook deal did come through, I said it's a good thing for the industry. I still stand by on a macro level, but what I will also add is that in terms of, you know, every time I've used Facebook, it's been fine. I have never experienced the lag. You know, I've used it in hotel in, 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 internet. I've used it on fucking Wi-Fi in airports. I've, I've, you know, I've watched it on my phone. You know, like, I've never had any problems, never had any lag that people complain about. But I can see enough people are complaining about it that it must oh, be... yeah. It yeah, it must incredible. be real, right? I'm not, I'm not stupid. So, obviously, that's subpar. And, you know, the curation and, and, and you know, the, the, the chat experience and everything is all obviously sub-tier. But, like, ESL did say right at the start, like, we know it's not ideal. Um, 
and, and, and we are working with Facebook to help improve their streaming services. Now, Facebook clearly haven't listened to ESL because obviously the service didn't of get course. any better. And that's what enabled ESL, who were so cognizant of what the community was saying. They went out and got that other deal with Mixer, you remember? For the for the daughter events and that was sort of like yeah. a compromise because facebook knew like they hadn't sort of delivered on their end right the community still give esl shit i, I think it's just so unfair like you know I, I love ripping into tournament organizers i love ripping into esl i've been doing that for years but like i, I think i think the deal they've got off the daughter 2 community is really really rough the only area you've ever got to like to say esl sort of did it to themselves why did they do that dmca on admirable bull Admiral Bull, Admiral Obviously. Bulldog stream. I can't even fucking. Yeah, that that was stupid. That was just unforgivable that. and unforgivably stupid. And, and then also, it, it, whoever made the misstep of thinking you could go into a r slash daughter two thread and like turn the thread around, like you just don't know that sub, mate. You are out of your mind. Yeah, that will never happen. You, if, oh, if no. anything, you might make it worse by daring to stick up for yourself. Although your fucking mad interview actually did seem to go over a little bit well and generate some debate. Did see several threads just talking about me, of course, um, saying that me and you were, you know, hardcore, ultra racist, um, and like therefore we had no place being anywhere near Dota. Still will never understand why I get labelled a racist. Like, I, I, I don't get it, but but I did see Again, that. also not particularly close to Dota either. Yeah, but but what well, I'll attempting to be. <laughs> yeah, but what but what I'll also say was, like, what was nice was Hot Bid, um, came into the, the the thread where people were going, this content shit anyway. All Duncan does is read pre-prepared questions, like as if you know the whole art of I interviewing know, and research is easy, right? Somebody was like, all he does is read incredibly well researched questions off off a list of questions in a timely fashion and does follow up questions to interesting answers. I mean, anyone could do that. Hotbid's interviews were better now. If you ever watched a Hotbid interview, you knew what Hotbid was trying to do was like the quick, you know, yeah, uh, he was just it, fucking around, yeah, shotgun, funny questions, meme questions. And Hotbid did come into the thread and say Duncan's interviews like infinitely better than mine. I wasn't even trying to do the same content, and you've got to respect what Fair Duncan enough. does. He's got a gift and an art like so i thought that was a class act by hot bid like you know. yeah it's legit yeah thanks for the sub bad company Plus, what's hilarious is like obviously you'd have to have like a documentary crew to see this but when i do an interview like that one i did with that guy yeah i don't have any research <laughs> like yeah I, it's just stuff i know but like if i don't know something he fills it in you know yeah, I, of course. I don't claim to know anything about fucking daughter it's not even the main game i follow yeah but i i, I thought like um Thanks that is a common trying. trend from haters, though, because what's yeah. mad is it, they're, they're actually giving you a backhanded compliment, not knowing it, which is what they're implying is, I like the answers, mm. but I just hate the person asking them, and I wish he didn't ask the question that way, which yeah. any interviewer knows, well, you wouldn't get that answer without that question, would you? It doesn't work that way. I, I, I even saw somebody who had, like, OG Flair, were, like, saying, I am a massive OG fan, but I will not watch this interview because I will not give a click to that scumbag. Oh, you're, well, you're, I might have to shut the channel down if I'm not going to get his... No, but like, ima imagine that though. Like, hey everyone, I've done this, uh, you know, super sick fucking interview with Kobe, LA Lakers fan. I fucking hate you so much. I don't care about the insights of one of our legendary players. Like, all right, then fine. Like, big fan you are, mate. Hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks as well, the Dresden Shuffler. Good to see you back with the tier one sub, brother. Appreciate it, mate. The saddest thing about it as well is cause that sub so bad, at least to be fair, like I said, I haven't been on that much in the last few years, but cause it generally was so bad in terms of like the behavior of the people who got upvoted and downvoted, etc. Hmm. It's like the scenario where it had actually made me get blinded and just think that all of Dota 2 were mad hitters. But like I said, first of all, not only were like loads of the community members I met sound as fuck, I've had hmm. so many players say to me like, oh, would you ever do a talk show in this or something? I like, know. Oh, would you? Would do you, you know like how many times I've been asked interviews? as well? Like, yeah, sad, isn't it? But like, all the talent say to me, like, oh, I'd love to see you involved in Daughter in some way. You know, like me and Sir Action Slack started off at each other's throats, but like, he's a fucking really sound lad. We had we had a big old chat, especially around about the time John yeah, died. Right. You know, because John sort of helped fucking launch, not not launch him, but like John put his fucking tw tweets out saying, look how funny like the Sir Action Slack him, is. Yeah, yeah signal boosted him. You know. And uh, he didn't, and like Sir Action Slacks didn't know some of it. So we were like talking about that, and like he was gutted, like I was, you know. And um, anyway, we... the I know, it's fucking yeah, sickening, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? They've won it with Edward being absolutely dog shit again. I'm in hell. 
put me out my misery. Only... Snap my fucking neck like a rabbit ready for the post. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, He's only won two rounds on the T side and one was passed around. Thanks the for the uh, tier two sub as well. The say you've donated a lot to this Base channel. Really and, two. and they just lost all those clutches. Mm. Right. Oh, fuck. But um, but yeah. So like you know, the they always is zero and two reasonable. But those those fellas are always saying to me like, oh, you know, I'd love to come on the show. Love to, and and I say like, well, if if we do any content together, who's gonna fucking look at it? Who's actually gonna yeah, look at it? That's why I have to tell them basically. Like I, what I tell people is this: I'll do the odd thing if like I, like for example, I did that interview because I watched that TI run, so I want to actually know the things that I'm gonna ask him. It was like I actually did it for selfish reasons. You know, I want to ask do an interview and ask him those questions. Hmm. But I'm not doing it to make money because for all I know, I mean, it didn't happen there, but. Could just get downvoted all the way to the bottom. Could just make literally like four dollars for me. Well, you know what? I don't know how much people think I make, but four dollars isn't worth five hours of my time. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the affairs. I know. But like, Whereas but... what's hilarious is game like League of Legends. I have if go and find any interview with me ever. I have never said League of Legends is a good game. In fact, I always stress I don't like it as a game. I just like the scene around it. Mm. But that is a scene that is absolutely wa arms wide open. They love it when people do content because they want because you want good content, obviously. Yeah. I I mean, like you know, I no, I remember you distinctly saying when League was out. I was like, "Do you ever play it?" You're like, "Nah, it's fucking shit." <laughs> like. It is. Yeah. It's a shit game. Yeah. At least for my sensibilities, you know, I understand why other people like it. Obviously, that's. I, th I think it's the same with fucking like Fortnite, though. Yeah, if I was a kid, I'd be all over that. Looks sick. But if you have warped your brain with like twenty years of playing and watching Quake, it's garbage, isn't it? Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, cheers for the Twitch Prime Master too. I'll tell you, one of the best things I ever did was, um, like I said, I, I, I met a guy. Uh, like playing Dota, we were like raging at each other in a fucking pub game, and afterwards I felt bad about it. Like he recognised my voice part way through. I was raging, and I felt like a bit bad because he was like, "Oh, I really like your work, you know." And it's like, you've you've you know you've met the man, and and he's not he's not what you think he's gonna be. He's a raging cunt in Dota, just like everyone else. Like to be fair, he did start raging at me, and I was like, "Why don't you sh shut the fuck up, you little fucking prick?" And it, Is that Richard Lewis? And I was like, oh, "All right." So anyway, we started like hanging out and playing games together it turned out he was like a much better player than me you know so i started saying like oh do you want to fucking coach me at dota 2 like so i've got to learn this game at some point you know i've got it's like games. yeah i've got like 250 hours under my belt i don't know what the fuck i'm doing and um he said yeah sure and he actually taught me the fucking basics you know and i've like slowly been climbing up mmr and i actually really enjoy the game now that i've got a handle on it you know got over a thousand hours under my belt lo lo loving climbing out of 1k you know it's been good and, and, but again, it's like, I know I'll never be involved in Dota 2 because everyone will go, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah. It's just there forever, you know. So it's fucking, it's one of those things, man. Like, what what can you do? You got, you got you know, talent. That's, that's why it's always funny when they go with that angle of like, you're just trying to remain relevant. It's like, here's the thing, mate. The sad truth of esports is it's you have to dedicate so much of your life to even be an okay journalist that anyone who's really good that's why we can get away with being in your opinion an arsehole because yeah. just doing our content instantly makes us relevant again it's irrelevant what i say or my appearance so as long as i just go home do all the content again well there's, there's so few people doing it it's like as a result instantly relevant again yeah that angle will never work as a diss so here's a funny one when when Go blew up and we first started doing some of those desks and some of that work. It was cool. I had fucking fans and like when I started rumbling about CSGO Lounge and people being extorted. And Telling you were in it for the money, I'm up. guessing, yeah? Uh, no, uh, well, I got a petition to get me out of the business, but I had people yelling at me and going, he's just a StarCraft guy. Oh, wow. I had the same thing, Scoots. I had and I had moved over to go for the money. Like, yeah. oh, I didn't like Cash. Like, he's a StarCraft team When guy. CSGO I'm blew like, up, the same thing happened. What happened is in, like, like, 2015 when it got huge. Yeah, I had some like, people on Reddit planet? who actually like, said, like, this guy comes over from League of Legends. It's like, I, I actually <laughs> played Beta 1. Are you aware of this? Like, I played Beta 1 and was writing about the first tournament. Like, the idea that I was like, oh, just, I'm, I'll tell you what, I love League of Legends, me, Rich, but. I'm going to get in on that gravy train in Counter-Strike. You heard about that Go shit that's happening over there? I'm going to give you some of that Go. Man, I, I, I was like, that's... Like, you obviously don't know anything about me. If you think all I came from is that little era of StarCraft 2 and EG, it's like, oh, man. 
done a bad job. 